Welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 100 and 40 pound weight loss. And today we're gonna to talk about fat burners. If you follow me, you know that you know my thoughts on diet pills, fat burners in general, they do not work. However, however, today we're gonna to talk about five natural fat burners that you can include in your lifestyle, in your day-to-day -day diet that actually worked and are that actually work and are back by science. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I upload new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Check out the description box down below where I will link nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose all of my weight and I do offer that for my client. I do offer personalized macros and calories for you. Highly, highly, highly recommend as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite healthy things are also down in that description box. So let's talk about five natural fat burners that actually work. Fat burners are one of the most controversial supplements on the market. And to be completely honest with you, not a single fat burner that you buy in pill form, powder form, liquid form, at your local store, pharmacy, health food store, work. None of those work. They are all part of diet culture. They are all part of the diet system that do not work long term and are not sustainable. They say that they'll burn fat, boost your metabolism, reduce the absorption of fat. Those are all claims that are not backed by science. Most of the supplements on the market are not FDA approved and not recommended for human consumption. So skip all of the pills, powders, and liquids on the market and focus on the five that I'm going to talk to you today about because these five actually are natural and they are backed by science to work effectively. And you have to remember that everybody's metabolism is different. Every body is different. And there's not one magical miracle fat burner out there that's going to work for everyone. Five natural fat burners that I'm going to talk with you today about may help boost your metabolism. Nothing in weight loss and fat loss is guaranteed. The most effective way to lose weight and to keep it off is through sleep, calorie deficit, and moving your body. That said, these five natural supplements have been proven to burn fat and boost your metabolism. So let's jump into a natural fat burner that actually works number one, and that is going to be caffeine. Now we know that coffee and caffeine gets a bad rap in general. There's a lot of different differing opinions out there on whether or not you should be consuming caffeine. But the science backed answer is caffeine is actually a natural fat burner and metabolism booster. Caffeine is a substance commonly found in coffee, green tea, and cocoa beans. It is also a popular ingredient in commercial fat burning supplements and for good reason. Caffeine can boost your metabolism and help your body burn more fat. Research shows that caffeine can temporarily boost your metabolism by up to 16% for over one to two hours. In addition, several studies have shown that caffeine can help your body burn more fat as fuel. However, the effect appears to be stronger in people with less weight compared to the people that are overweight or have obesity. And on top of that, consuming over consuming caffeine can actually have less of a beneficial effect on your body. Everything in moderation, just like we talk about food in moderation, caffeine in moderation as well. Now, yes, it's a great fat burner metabolism booster for those couple of hours post consumption, but you can overdo everything caffeine included. Coffee is one of your best sources of caffeine and really truly the most natural source of caffeine. And remember that too much caffeine can also interfere with sleep quality. And we talked about how having adequate sleep is one of the best ways to lose weight and keep it off. The daily recommended intake of caffeine is 400 milligrams or less. So this is where we want to shoot for every day, but utilize caffeine, especially in the form of coffee for that fat burning metabolism boost. Number two is green tea extract. This is actually a concentrated form of green tea. It basically provides all of the amazing benefits of green tea in either a powder or capsule form. Green tea extract is also rich in caffeine and polyphenol EC. EGCG, both of which are compounds that help you burn fat. In addition, these two compounds complement each other and can help you burn fat through a process called thermogenesis. In simple terms, thermogenesis is the process in which your body burns calories to produce 
heat. An analysis of six studies found that taking a combination of green tea extract and caffeine actually helped people burn 16% more fat than a placebo. The combination of green tea and caffeine is really a double threat when it comes to metabolism boost and fat burn. Pairing green tea and caffeine together actually burns 65 more calories per day than just having caffeine on its own. So utilize those concentrated green tea options, especially if you're not a big green tea drinker. It's an acquired taste. It's kind of an earth grassy taste and if you don't love green tea taking it in the form of a powder maybe adding it to a smoothie or a protein shake or even in capsule form you can reap all of the amazing benefits number three is a staple in my life and that is going to be protein powder protein is incredibly efficient at burning fat that is why as a weight loss and nutrition coach and someone who lost 90 pounds in the course of one year all I did is count calories and make sure I met my protein goal every day protein is essential for fat loss and essential to keep that weight off a high protein NK take can help you burn fat by boosting your metabolism and curbing your appetite. It also helps your body preserve muscle mass. For instance, a study involving 60 participants with overweight and obesity found that a high protein diet was almost twice as effective as a moderate protein diet at burning fat. Protein can also curb your appetite by increasing the levels of fullness, hormones like GLP-1, CCX, and PYY, while reducing levels of the hunger hormone ghrelin. You can get a lot of your protein every day from protein-rich foods, and actually I recommend to my clients to not have more than one to two protein supplements like protein powder daily, and really focus on choosing the right foods that are going to help you get in your protein. You can still supplement and should be supplementing your protein intake with a supplement like protein powder. Protein powder is extremely versatile. You can make it into protein shakes. You can bake with it. You can cook with it. You can mix it into yogurt. You can mix it in with pudding. You can mix it with a powdered pudding and make a protein pudding. It's just really one of the best ways to supplement that protein intake. You do want to keep in mind calories. Make sure that you're not consuming a protein powder that has several hundred calories. You want to shoot for about 150 calories or less per scoop of protein. And you want that to have, have around 20 to 30 grams of protein. Whey, casein, soy egg, pea protein, plant-based protein. You have to find what works for you. Now keep in mind that any whey protein is going to have more protein than a plant-based protein, but there's a lot of people who can't tolerate whey or dairy, so a plant-based option is what's best for them. You're still going to get in a big punch of protein. And your amount of protein you should be consuming every day is based on so many different factors. Your age, your sex, your height, your weight, your activity, your past dieting experience, the amount of fat versus muscle you have on your body. There are so many factors that play into the amount of protein that you should be consuming daily. That is why I do offer personalized macros and calories. It's so important to get your protein goal every day because my body and your body, my protein needs and your protein needs are very, very different. So again, I will have nutrition coaching and personalized macros and calories pinned to the top of the description box. Number three, completely underrated and completely essential is soluble fiber. If you don't want to track calories, if you don't want to track protein, fats, and carbs, track fiber, make sure you're reaching your fiber goal every day and you that can automatically on its own lead to weight loss. There are two different types of fiber to take into consideration. We have insoluble fiber and soluble fiber. Soluble fiber absorbs water in your digestive tract and forms a viscous gel-like substance. Studies have shown that soluble fiber can help burn fat by curbing your appetite. That's because soluble fiber can increase the levels of fullness hormones like PYY and GLP-1. It can also help reduce the level of the hunger hormone ghrelin. This sounds very familiar, right? Protein powder and fiber have all of those benefits. Soluble fiber also helps the delivery of the nutrients to your gut. When this happens, it takes longer for your body to digest the foods that you're eating, therefore keeping you fuller for longer. So with that, fiber also curbs your hunger cravings, which means that you're going to consume less calories over day, over the course of the day, putting you into a deficit, which is the only way to lose weight and to keep it off. While you can get soluble fiber from a lot of foods, you also can supplement your fiber intake. I myself take Just Better Fiber, two tablespoons in my coffee every single morning. It's the best fiber supplement out there. It is one ingredient, fiber. Not a lot of the fillers and things that are found in the fiber supplements that you buy at the store. Highly recommend Just Better Fiber. It's a small, woman-owned, minority-owned business, and it is the best fiber you can get your hands on. I will link that down below for you with a 10% discount. Out. Definitely check that out and make sure that you're substituting fiber where you're not getting it from your food. And as a woman, we want to aim for 25 to about 35 grams of fiber minimum per day. Number five is something I had 
actually never heard about and I really had to do some research into this and that is called Yohimbine. I'll go ahead and of course pop it up here on the screen for you so you can see how this is spelled. Yohimbine is a substance found in the bark Posenstalia yohimbe, yohimbe, a tree found in Central and Western Africa. It's commonly used as an aphrodisiac but also has properties that may help burn fat. Yohimbine works by blocking receptors called alpha-2 adrenergic receptors. These receptors normally bind adrenaline to suppress the effects, one of which is encouraging your body to burn fat for fuel. Since Yohimbine blocks these receptors, it can prolong adrenaline's effects and promote the breakdown of fat for fuel. 20 elite soccer players were put into this study where they were given 10 milligrams of Yohimbine twice daily and they shed 2.2% of their body fat just supplementing Yohimbine. And that was over the course of only three weeks. When our adrenaline levels are peaked, when they are boosted, which is what Yohimbine does, there can be some side effects to this, such as anxiety, nausea, panic attacks, and high blood pressure. So before taking any supplement, I would definitely have a conversation with your doctor to see if it is safe for you to take. It can also interact with certain medications. So again, have a conversation with your doctor. This is a new supplement to the market. And like I said, one I have never heard of before. At this point in my life, this is a supplement that I probably wouldn't utilize right now without further research but if I can find it in the if I can find it online available for purchase I will link it for you but it is something to consider as an additional fat burner there's a few other fat burning supplements that may be beneficial for you first is 5-HTP 5-HTP is an amino acid and precursor to the hormone serotonin it may help burn fat by curbing your appetite and carb cravings however it may also interact with medications for depression again have a conversation with your doctor Synephrine is a substance that is especially abundant in bitter oranges. Some evidence shows that it can help burn fat, but only a handful of studies support its effect. Green coffee bean extract. I have definitely heard of this. Research shows that green coffee bean extract may help you burn fat. However, studies on green coffee bean extract are sponsored typically by its manufacturers, which may cause a bit of a conflict of interest. Next up is CLA. CLA is a group of omega-6 fatty acids that may help burn fat. However, its overall effects appear weak and evidence is mixed. And lastly, L-carnitine. L-carnitine is a naturally occurring amino acid. Some studies show that it can help burn fat, but the evidence behind it is mixed. Now, I will tell you, I personally take L-carnitine every day before I work out. This is something that was recommended by a coach that I had, and I really can, it's a great pre-workout, whether it has fat burning properties that are conclusive or not is irrelevant to me. I find it to be a really beneficial pre-workout and I appreciate that it has those amino acids that sometimes can be lacking in our diet. I do take the L-carnitine from 1UP Nutrition. I'll link that for you as well. I do have a 20% discount for 1UP. Also, while you're on their website, highly recommend their pre-rebuild, which is their creatine supplement, which again, brings hydration to the muscles and can help with fat burn as well. So the bottom line of today's video is there's no magic pill for weight loss. Really, truly effective weight loss is going to come from a calorie deficit, getting in your protein and eating enough fiber. However, these naturally occurring fat burners are proven to be effective and can absolutely be introduced into your healthy lifestyle. I'll link everything I can find down below for you as well as nutrition coaching, don't forget to get your personalized macros and calories so you kind of know, so you know what your protein goal and calorie deficit goal is every day to see success. As well as all of my other favorite things will be linked down below for you. Let me know, have you tried any of these natural fat burners and what are your thoughts? Or if you have a natural fat burner that works for you, let us know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, found it helpful, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a Tuesday or Thursday video. Thank you for watching and I'll I'll see you next time. Bye.